This is Tiffany and I'm giving my first impression of Art Rage Vite on Windows. What's new in Art Rage Vite 2021, um, it is now has a collaborative feature, painting with a friend. So the way to enable the collaborative painting feature is to go to, uh, where is it? I believe it is preferences, Art Rage preferences and then where is it? Um, <laughs> let me just slow down a little bit. Print the devices, cursors, filters, and then hmm, panels. Oh, here it is. Enable painting link UI and you can find that under which tab is this the advanced preferences so this is where you would find it and where else okay all right that's pretty cool so that's that cancel and so as you can see I have it enabled right here so far I haven't signed up to it because I don't know anybody else who uses paint link or art rage for that matter so I'm pretty much would have to experiment with this at a later time. And then, so we're gonna skip to improved color pickers. So improved color pickers, where can I find that? So that's usually in color options, color picker. And here I, no, that's not it, whoops. That's not it. That's not color picker. I should find, um, hmm. I'm trying to remember where would I find it. It's not custom color pickers. It is paint mix profile panel. Okay, here is paint mix profile panel. So here we have uh, you're doing this with the colors, and then say for example you want to mix it with a red. You want to pick red, and it should give you a blue. As you can see that blue tinge. And we're going to change it to try, maybe we want, instead of a blue tinge, we want uh, a yellow, a yellow, a bright yellow, a bright yellow, okay. So we're going to do a red again, and then we're going to go to green, and there, look at that, you have this, which is really, really cool. It's pretty nice. Try airbrush. Well, it's not not airbrush, but no, oh, it does oils really really well. And then do some red. I oh, see there. Look at that. A yellow. Okay, moving on. We got. Improve document saving and reliability. Documents save more than twice as fast. Setting auto save timeout means you won't lose your work. Well, we'll see about that. Let me open up one of my recent art comic page files. So this is a page that I have been working on. And we'll see after I'm done how fast this is. So where else? is it so improved tools maximum tool size increased to 800 let me switch back to my watercolor brush and I'm gonna slide and see how big it gets ah it does so holding down and sliding uh, changes the size you can also use your keyboard but yeah it works uh, improved gap tolerance on the fill tool. So gap tolerance is not something that I use regularly because uh, it's just not, I'm not in the habit <laughs> of being that neat of an artist. But let me see if it works. Let me clean this up. Let me get, let me get organized first. Let me get organized. I can't seem to get organized. Let's put these where these are supposed to go. All right, here we go. Clean, clean, clean it up. And then we're gonna pick that, and uh, it's.
it's on all layers. Wait, actually, I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong one. Bucket fill. Which one is bucket fill? I also probably want to move this over here too. Okay, bucket fill. Gap tolerance capacity, current layer only. We're going to uncheck that. And then we're going to make sure that we are on a new layer. And, uh, uh oh. Take off add anti alias, gap tolerance, increase the gap tolerance. Let's start with. Uh, because before, for some reason, whenever we had a gap, like say right here, that's where it would give some problems. Oh, that is good. No more gap. Let's see. So here's two gaps. See if it does fills it to the face. Oh, it just did it a little bit, but let's increase it and see. But that's really good compared to like the previous previous version. So this is a useful update. And then wand selection, wand selection. Huh, that's pretty good. Because before it did not recognize it. It was not kind to <laughs> any gaps. If there was a tiny little gap, then good luck. You, you'd have to spend the entire time going through the line art to make everything watertight so that's pretty good that that's been fixed happy for that too and we have a problem so for whatever reason the watercolor brush does not paint let's try the let's try the so this does work hmm and I'm noticing something else. I'm not exactly sure why, but this is very pixelated. And I don't know how to make it better. It's not close, so that sucks. And improved recordable action. Record actions. It, well, I'm skipping um, the gradient and t texture fills because Honestly, if uh, there's, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I just don't use it. So I don't think I can explain that one very well. So the next one is improved recordable actions. Recorded actions can have a shortcut keys assigned. Assigned shortcut keys displayed in actions panel. Included sample action strip script. Ah, sc included sample action scripts. Hmm. Where the I don't know which one's that uh action panel. So where is an action panel? So you would record a script. By default, your current painting will not appear for if you want your current painting to be visible when the script is played. Okay, record. Stop. I see it entitled. I'm not gonna save it. Hmm. We'll just save it there. Hmm. Where's an act? Where is the action panel? Selection. For the tool preset variants perspective actions. Oh, record new actions record a new layer and then we're going to stop so let's try playing it okay so it works and then I guess uh, you have your samples here what does it do is it going to crash it just stopped and it's not doing anything. Stop. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure. 
I guess you gotta do something before that does something. Well, at least we know that it works. And then you can get larger canvases up to 23,500 by the same number. And right now, well, it does look better. It does look clean and crisp and the resolution looks amazing. Script Engine has improved support for grids and guide overlays. That's okay. Arbitrary is available through the Windows Store. We know that it has free licensing and downloading, which is great. But I'm still pretty disappointed with it that because <laughs> to be honest this is what I the watercolor feature is what I use most often and I was really really hoping for some new improvements in the selection tools because that would really help me with uh, another stop in the step another step in the comic making process so uh, I don't think I would be using Art Rage Vite right now for any of my comic book work, but it is still acceptable for uh, freestyle painting. Um, so yeah, so uh, hopefully in the next updates, uh, we will see some better improvements in uh, the selection tool. So there's less uh, pix pixelated um, things with line work and they for sure definitely will fix uh, the watercolor uh, painting in the selection tool. So that's it. That is my first impression. And I guess I'll see you next time.